Adding a texture to a plane. This is a debugging process for Maya. So first off, I have this. In Photoshop, I want to save as, and I can save either as a TIFF or a Targa. Both are uncompressed files. They work really well with Maya. I'll make a new folder, call it Gun. How about Gun 2, since I already got a gun out there? I'm going to use TGA. Twenty-four bits. A couple things that could go wrong here. Let's say if I have a channel in here. Here's channels. They're showing uh, somewhere over here. So usually, what I do if I can't find them, go like this, go like this. Ah, they're showing on my secondary monitor. Here they are. So I should only have red, green, and blue. If I have an alpha, everything will be transparent. So make sure you do not have an alpha. Another thing that could go wrong is the fact that everything needs to be in a texture resolution that is square in the power of 2. So in this case, I have 1024 by 1024. So if you times 20, 1024 by 1024, you get 2048. 2048 by 2048, you get 4096. And it can go the other way too, like uh, 512 by 512, 256 by 256. If you're using the concept, I would say stay within the range of 1024 and 2048. Anything bigger than that is technically unneeded. Here's my blank scene. Here's my plane. Six on the keyboard. I'm going to show you two different ways to get your texture in. One, right click on the object, assign a new material, choose Lambert. Go to the color attribute here in attribute editor. So again, that's this button right here, Lambert 2. Color, hit the checkered button. Go to file and choose the image name. In this case, it's on the desktop under gun 2. Okay. That's one way to bring in a texture on a plane. The next way is through the use of Hypershade. Window, Rendering Editors, Hypershade. In this case, I'm going to go to the Texture tab, and then I'm going to launch Internet Explorer. or, sorry, Explorer. Gonna go to the gun folder. And there's my gun TGA. Gonna drag it in here. And in this case, I can go make a new material by simply clicking on Lambert. And then middle mouse button click and drag from here to here. And choose color or default. They both do the same. The difference here is default will automatically launch your alpha if you have one. So if you did want to make a transparency, you could. So if you're new at this, I would say just attach it to color. And then you can assign that to the object by middle mouse button clicking and dragging from the ball to the object. Voila. Alright, so that is how you bring a texture into Maya. Enjoy.